Welcome to Bubba's Reviews. It's kind of late here at my house, so I'm going to talk a little quiet. Okay, I have found out how to switch devices on Spotify. Okay, right now we're listening to my sister-in-law, and she's a great singer, so she gave me permission to listen to this music. Anyhow, you know you want to switch like maybe you have a Sonos or something else, or you've got other uh, Echo Dots, and you want to switch between them. You want to play music in different rooms, or you want to play music everywhere. Well, I figured out how to do that with um, Smart Things and Alexa and Google Home, and I'm going to show you how to do that with a script that took me quite a while to figure out exactly how to get it to work perfectly, and I'm going to share that with you in the link in the description, and. I even typed something up and uh, used Trigger CMD to do this. So let's uh, just show you how it works here. So I'm just going to tell, by the way, I'm going to say my Echo Dot's name right now. So if you want to mute yours, sorry, I'm about to activate it. <clears throat> You've been warned. So here we go. I'm going to show you how we're going to switch between my computer and basement. We'll just do those two. So I'm not going to touch anything. Here we go. I've got to remember that <laughs> I just barely did this. So, um, Alexa, turn on device two. Okay. Boom. 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 Okay, so that's now on my basement. You can see it's listening on basement here. Okay. Alexa, turn on device one. Okay. I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. It's awesome. <clears throat> All right, so let's go through this. I'm going to put a link to this page that uh, shows how to do this. this is something I've been wanting to do for over a month now. So I'll put a link up here to Trigger CMD's uh, log. You may have to log in. I don't know. But um, anyhow, so this is probably going gonna, to. Gonna, Let's just play one of her songs here, okay? We'll just play Shake It Off. So, um, all right. I'm not going back to edit. It's 2.46 in the morning, so you guys are just going to have to deal with it. So you go here, Smart Things, which is between Spotify devices. It's awesome. Here is the uh, code here. You just want to open up Notepad, okay? I've got this other type of Notepad that I downloaded, which is awesome. It's called Notepad++. It just kind of helps me when I'm typing these scripts. But it works just like Notepad. So I copy and paste it in here. And you want to put your username in here. And, or, you know, your computer username. And basically the rest of it should work just right. Okay. So once you get this in here, save it somewhere. And um, put it wherever you can access your .bat files. This is actually a .vbs, Victor Bravo South. I don't know what that word is, but just save it in Notepad. You can just do run as save as, file save as, and then you just type in .vbs and that'll work. So you need to save this somewhere that it, it can be seen by the computer. Put that in uh, what they call path. I have another video that shows how to put things in path just go to my channel and how to put things in a path I'm right, gonna spend a lot of time on that so you can see I've already made uh, four different ones and so I'm gonna go through this with you and show you how to make like number five so if you have got this in here the only thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna change this tab because it simulates a tab push button so this is the thing you can alter as as well as your username here, but you go tab three. Now the funny thing is, is you can open up your Spotify thing and if I hit control um, D, I can simulate this same thing. And then you just hit tab. Well, the first tab clicks up here for some reason. The second one pulls you down here, third one, fourth one, fifth one. Now these will uh, change. If you uh, turn on and off your different things, they will change and so you can't um, 
it does, I don't care. I'm like, it's not that big a deal. My computer's always in position one. Uh, you know, my basement bedroom, they're dots. So they're not going to, they're echo dots. They're not going to turn off anytime soon because they're always plugged in and then everywhere. But I do have like several other ones that are offline right now, like my phones. So I've have somebody who told me they have like 12 to 13 devices you could just do the same thing so you would just say tell your dot a turn on device number seven um it might be a little bit of guessing but you can still sit your butt on the couch okay you don't even have to get up and you'll hear oh that's in the wrong room or whatever or just put it on everywhere so yeah if you leave your stuff on it won't ever move so all right, so let's go through and uh, create another one from scratch. Let's see, I'm at six minutes. I won't try to go over 10 here. <clears throat> let's just see if we can't, I just wanna play something mellow in the background here. Okay, <clears throat> so I'm gonna go, I, I just saved this and I wanna, let's put it in, oh, I was gonna tell you. Since you have the first tab that actually is going to land you up here somewhere, this would actually be two, three, four. So one is two, two is three, blah, blah, blah. So I've already got like, let's see, four saved. So I'm going to make five. It's just this easy. I'll just go by. And this is going to be file save as. <clears throat> and I'm going to call it device number four because it's. Um, oh crud! I'm gonna, I'm gonna do device five, but I need to change it. So, because I need to be one higher, so I'm gonna be six, and then I'm just gonna have file save. Okay. So, piece of cake. Now I've got all these in path. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up my trigger CMD, which if you don't have this yet, it is phenomenal. It controls your entire computer. I'm gonna open up the GUI command editor. And uh, I think it just opened a second instance. Oh, okay, there we go, device one, device two. I'm gonna just click this add a command. I'm gonna call this device, what do we say that was? Device five. And then <clears throat> I'm just super paranoid, I'll get things wrong. So I just like go to rename it here and just copy. I mean, I don't really rename it, but I just want it exact. So I take this command here, I do control V and Russ, if you're watching this, one who made this, I would love to just right click and paste. So I don't know if you can activate that, but you can do control V and it'll paste it right there. This is just going to fi find this file when I fire this trigger. And like I said, it can control the anything on my computer. It's phenomenal. Um, you can also download something right into your Echo Dot that you can just do a voice word for it. I'm using it through Smart Things because that's the way I do it. So there's those options there. Plenty of stuff on the on his uh, website and the form that I gave you a link to. So I'm just going to save that. And there you see it's device five. Okay, it's saved in there. So I'm going to go into my um, smart things. So you know you have your dashboard. You go to my home and you go to automation. And it's under routines or smart apps. I go smart apps. I'm going to find the trigger CMD. Obviously, I already have this installed. It's in another video, plenty of videos on that stuff. Go next here. And I'm going to go down here and I've got all this stuff selected. So I'm just going to click on it. It's going to come down here and it's going to say, oh, okay, device five is brand new. I haven't selected it yet. I'm going to save it. <clears throat> and it's successfully added. If you ever get an error in here, by the way, it just means you might have old crap in there and it needs to be synced up with what's actually happening. So what's in smart things versus what really exists. So um, <clears throat> what really exists in uh, in this right here. So anyhow, because you got to delete it in smart things. Same thing with Alexa. Oh crap, I said her name. Um, you've got to I've had to go back into my uh, Echo app uh, and I've had to delete old stuff because it doesn't just come out. If I delete something in Smart Things because I redo it, I've got to go back into that elect, uh, Echo app and delete it. Okay, 
So I've got it in there now. I saved it in there. So if I go into my home, I should be able to see device two, one, two, and five. I haven't put the other ones in yet. Now, I don't care about these statuses. And if somebody out there has got a better way to do this, like make it a button or something, <clears throat> I'm still new at this. So um, I just do it as a switch and I say, turn it on. And when I do the commands with voice commands, even when it's on here, it sends an on command again. So somebody else has got a way to clean it up, post it in the comments. Um, all right, so it's in there. Now I've just got to tell, I'm going to say her name again, uh, Alexa, discover devices. Starting discovery. This will take up to 20 seconds. If you haven't already, please <clears throat> enable the smart home skill for your smart device from the Alexa app. And now that's just going to go through and she'll figure that out and it's going to be great. And so just kind of kill some time here. One new switch called <gasps> device five to control it. Say, turn off device five. Now let's see if I've got one, two, three. I can't, I'm not going to do this one because I don't have it turned on right now, but it'll work. I can just say that could just, to tell the commands Alexa turn on device two I guess I should shut that to show you it'll work no hands again oh she didn't hear me Alexa turn on device two okay nothing I didn't do anything Alexa turn on device one Okay. So if you're sitting there and you're like, if you only got like four or five devices like me, you can toggle through the last couple until you get it right. Anyways, so there's to not having to get off the couch or having to turn on your, well, your computer will be running because I use my computer all the time, but there's to just sitting on your duff and just, you know, saying, okay, I want to listen to it in the bedroom or whatever else. And bam, that's it. Figured it out. It's awesome. You guys are amazing. Like and subscribe. Sorry if I chatted on a little too much, but uh, this stuff's really cool. And I'm going to make a video soon showing all the cool stuff I can do in my house. Like, I can control my zone apps and everything. Okay, bonus. I'm just going to show you this because I don't know when I'll get to making a video. So, everybody else tune out. doesn't care about this. This is the mono price amp. If you want to put a full zone amp in your house, it's cheap. It's awesome. Works great. Eight and a half inch speakers. Wait. So I need to stop the music for this though. But what I did is um, I, oh good, I've got my wife's room. She's asleep. She'll be mad. But what I can do is I can just, let's see, I'll turn them all off. These are the six different zones of my house. Now I don't turn like the outside one on, the kids room one on. So I can just say, Alexa, turn on all zones. And just watch it, it'll, it'll just do it. I think I'm talking too quiet. Alexa, turn on all zones. Come on, turn it on. Okay. So I've set this up too. I've cleaned it up. I did this in another video, but I've actually made it a little smoother. I've learned how to do my scripts a little better. And I'll be posting stuff on that too. But anyways, it can just do all this and I can even just tell it. Um, Alexa, turn off basement zone. Or, okay. yeah, there you go. See, it's freaking phenomenal. So I can just sit there and I can be in a room and tell it turn on. I, I, it's, I, my house is just doing whatever I wanted to do. And once I integrated my computer through this trigger CMD, I got full control over whatever I want. And I freaking love it. All right. See you later. Bob's Reviews. Goodbye.